me some Tina Marie since I was a kid. Hi! I don't know what happened, y'all. This is my first day back. I am Butterscotch, and first of all, I want to say to the world out there, I want to thank all those that gave Butterscotch the best blessings ever to get better. And I'm so excited today because I have this most fantastic entertainer. Her name is Sin City. She's been on my show before. I love her dearly. So I really appreciate her today. And she also has a friend of hers who's here also. His name is Jay Cuts. Hi, Jay. Hey, how are you doing? It's a pleasure to meet me, finally meet you. I am Butterscotch. And I know Sin told you a lot about me. Yeah. And hi, darling. Hey. How are you? I'm blessed, you know, blessed to be here. Glad you're back. Yes, thank you. Well, you know, Sin, we're going to just go right on in, okay? Because this girl <laughs> has so much going on that, you know, I can't keep up with her. Now, Sin, you are on Instagram. What other social media that people can find you on? Um, definitely uh, Instagram is where you would follow me for, like, all my events and stuff. Mm -hmm. I try to keep that the most up to date, like, mm -hmm. Um, with pictures and everything. Um, also, my Facebook, which I kind of have, you know, too many friends, but, you know, <laughs> for those of you that are, you know, true believers of me and, you know, actually want to actually be my friend, then I'll make room, you know. <laughs> wow. Um, but that's that's my name, Cynthia Sin City Colette, yes. C-O-L-L-E-T-T. -T. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I have a Reverb Nation. I have um, a lot of business pages for, like, my Sin City Entertainment Productions. Mm -hmm. Can you can you go in more depth and tell us about your productions and stuff? Of course. You know, how they work? <laughs> you know they let the world know. I want the yeah. world to know because this girl wears a lot of hats too. Yeah, let me tell my you. whole life has it's been, hard to catch up with her. My whole life has been training for what I do and mm -hmm. like to try to do it from all aspects that I can. Mm -hmm. You know, do everything by yourself. You know, it gets done better. Yes. So um, I totally agree. Yeah, I, I've worked my whole way around. You know, from business to mm -hmm. to marketing to. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I do music, I, yes. I do promoting, I do booking, I do, um, I've, I've done DJing, I've made music, I, I've done it all, but like I'm trying to focus, you know, on the, the entertainment. Um. In what area, though, that you want to really Um Well, right now, like, as right. far as, like, I love doing shows, mm -hmm. so, like, you know, that gets a lot of people together right. and, and share that opportunity with them um, mm -hmm. to be seen and heard. Mm -hmm. um, Mondays, every Monday, we have at the Delancey, the Put Me On Showcase with um, my boy Slim from FLO Empire okay. Network, and um, we've been doing that for like three months now, and wow. it's, like, super great, and that's actually where I met Jay Cutts. Really? Yeah. Small world, yeah. What? Yeah. And let me tell you, I just found out Jay Cutts, he's from Staten Island. He lives What's out here in Staten Park? Island. Park Hill, I, I have and a lot I, of friends. And I, was, and I was amazed to know that he's never, he said he heard of me, but he didn't know that I had a show. Is that correct? I mean, I really don't watch too much TV, so it's nothing personal. Like, even okay. real popular shows I don't watch. Really? But now that I'm, you know, experiencing this more, I guess I'll be more in tune with the movement. Especially a show, because, like, I see your vibe is very professional. You're a very uh, humble young lady, and I love what Thank you're you. doing, you know, to get Thank you. the culture uh, promotion. You know? Yeah, I really, you know, I find artists are so beautiful to me. They're exciting to me. And just so to watch them perform, <laughs> you know, I just get oh, glittered all over, <laughs> you know. And this girl, when I met her, I was blown away because it was crazy. You Can I tell the story? Yeah. I got to tell y'all the story. <laughs> well. I got to tell y'all the story real quick. I was at an event in Harlem that somebody invited me to to see a couple artists because they wanted me to get these artists on, on my show. It's a talent show, actually. They had a talent show at this lounge. And this young lady walked in. But keep, keep, it, keep in mind, <laughs> let me just tell you how blown away I was that I got to meet her. I was like, you know, I was like one of those, those uh, groupies. Like yeah. I had to like a groupie because... I have been following her <laughs> on Instagram, and I was like, oh, my God, I can't believe she's here. I get it a lot, though, but you know, I, like, you're so amazing. I was like, <laughs> like a groupie. I said I was so excited because I was following this young lady for a while on social media. And for me to be at this event, as she came there, I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> I took beautiful pictures with her, and I was like, listen, call me. I really want you to get on my show. She's been on my show. She bought, She has also had a very talented daughter. That's right. 
Okay, she has a very talented KQB. daughter. KQB. KQB, what's how you say her name? KQB, Killer K- Queen B. <laughs> yeah, and she's been on my show also, and she's very talented. I definitely, definitely yeah, we gotta performed. Have, I definitely got to have her back to do a teen showcase. Cause you know I like to do. She's, these, do she does so case. much stuff, you know. Busy, yeah. She's she's actually a lifeguard now, and wow. she's she's doing all her certifications for diving and stuff in school. Wow. So she's like been extremely busy. Right. She does, you know, miss you and and wanna um. Yes. She wanted to come, but yeah. unfortunately, I you know, understand. just like me. I understand. <laughs> busy, busy. <laughs> I understand. So anyway, I just wanted to share that with you all. But anyway, getting back to Sin City, she has a lot going on. I want to talk more about her entertainment. Now, Sin City, you also have been in several videos with some famous artists. I've been in a lot of. Yeah, she's got <laughs> of my you. own and other people's. But I, I you know, a I lot of people so, ask about me and stuff. You know. Yeah. I, I kind of get a, like I, <laughs> I don't want to say I get around, but I, I, I do a lot of networking. Yeah. I'm at a lot of shows and events, and I'm you know I'm constantly you know working, mm-hmm. um, towards you know meeting new new people and right. networking and expanding. So, I mean, a lot of... But I have a question for you because, you know, you know there's a lot of people out here that say they're rappers and they they want, they they have this dream that they want to, they're going to be famous one day. And my whole thing is with artists, you know, with the artistry, especially with the young kids, you know, I have one guy up here, his whole rap was so sexually degrading. And I said to him, now, do you really think that somebody's gonna pick up your music, honestly. He says, yeah, because that's what they want to hear. I said, yeah, but that's X-rated. See, your X-rated stuff will not even get paid on, played on the radio. Mm-hmm. See? Yeah. And and that's where you lose out. Because you'll be in the background only on Instagram, Instagram or YouTube. It's hard even with my music. I swear a lot and you know. Well no, no, there's a difference. There's a difference. I'm talking <laughs> I use about I'm, I'm talking about X-rated. Yeah, oh, I actually have a new album called Freak Shit coming out. <laughs> well, you <laughs> Sin City, bitch. Um, wait, wait, wait a minute. And Rise Sin and Fall. City. Sin City. But wait a minute. You have, you might have that, but you're already established. See, that's the difference. See, a person who is not established just coming out with that. Yeah. <laughs> you know, they don't on. really know who they are. They don't just, know. Yeah. They just want to do what's, what's popular and what's yes. being promoted on television. So, what, so your, what is your advice to those Young artists out there, what advice would you give to them being in this type of business, though? Seriously. It's hard, um, you know, because I'm so, like, you know, I'm 35 years old. I'm I'm an OG. Like, I've been doing this my whole life. Like, it's hard to, I mean, I respect the new generation and the new music and stuff. Like, that's what they want to do. Like, and and it is what's selling. Like, but, you know, out of respect for the OGs, like, we want to keep it, you know, I, I would say just be yourself. Like, and these people think that they're, they need to find themselves. Everyone needs to find themselves. When you get older, you'll notice what, what's really going on in life. Okay. Because they don't really want to listen. The young, the young people, generation don't really want to listen that much. Well, can you remember old... when you were young? Did you want to listen? No, exactly. I and I know it's I hard, like... But we're in a different <laughs> era, though. I mean, yeah. I'm definitely in a different era from you, also. Yeah. I'm a lot older than you. So... Back to you. I want to ask you, Mr. Um, Jay, Jay Cuss. Cuss. <laughs> yeah. Tell us a little bit about yourself. You you perform with um, Sin also? Yeah, uh, I had a pleasure of performing with Sin City, sharing the stage. She actually opened the show mm-hmm. on Monday. And we got there by chance because we were supposed to be at the New York Reacon, but they didn't have enough uh, space for us. Okay. So then we just went over there to the Delancey. And that's where I met her. I, she was the first person I met, actually, when I walked in. Wow. And, you know, um, she signed me up, you know, and I told her she could help me out go first. And practically from there, I'm sure she appreciated my performance. I appreciated hers a lot. Yes. And, you know, from there on, we just said, all right, well, if I need to hit me up to work, you know, I'm out here. And then that's the reason why I'm here, you know. Wow. I'm so glad to meet you. He's not bad either. <laughs> right? You know. Very handsome. I, I like, man. you know, things that are pleasant on my eyes. Exactly. Oh, I <laughs> yeah, bet. actually. I bet. You beautiful We were going to do a little collab for you, but I yeah. unfortunately didn't bring my music. <laughs> well, that's okay. Well, you know what? She was going to perform for me, but, you know, we have to do that another time, okay? Don't worry. She coming back because I'm going to do. I'm not going to tell y'all when because I did have a showcase, an artist showcase that I had planned for June 29th. But I have to cancel it because, like I said, people, I've been out sick, and I want it done right. I don't want nothing rushed. I like things done right.
But let me tell you, this young lady will be on my panel, and so will this gentleman. And a lot, a lot of more that's already been here, so they already know how butterscotch roll. So they know how to, they know how to work the stage. They've been on my stage, they already know how it's set up. And I just can't wait. So I'm going to try to push for July, but I'm not going to give you the direct, you know, the exact date right now because I'm not sure. So let me get back to Sid because this is her interview with me right now. And Mr. Um, J Cuts. <laughs> so basically, let me ask you something, J Cuts. How long have you been in the music business, been doing this? I've yourself? been, uh, well, playing music as far as like my school band, like when I was eight years old. My dad was a DJ, so I was very much into music by the time I was like four or five. Wow. And uh, then by 11, I started recording. Mm -hmm. And then throughout the years, it just developed into something that, you know, I knew it was going to get to that point, but it was just so surprising how it came. You know, sometimes the pain really allows you uh, to create the best material out here, you know. And yes. I'm sure that uh, Sin City understands that too. Because I could see that in the music, <laughs> you know, the best music has some type of experience. Right. Like and it's also the, the decor of being patient. You know, like anything, I tell anybody, you know, if you want things done right, you have to take it slow and patient. Think it out. Don't rush into something because somebody said, listen, bling bling, listen, you make this rap, I'm going to buy you a brand new Mercedes. And you think that's all you can get, to get that's all you're going to end up doing because you haven't mapped out your music. You really haven't. Your skills. You took, you took, you let them sell you out. So that's yeah. what I'm saying, especially with young people, they're so quick. You know, they, they, all they see is the bling because that's, that's the sparkle in their eyes. Oh, I want to be like him. I want what he got <laughs> without understanding the business. And I'm telling you, those successful artists, they understand the business. That's why they got far that's like real. they did. That's real. And you can, I can use Jay-Z, all of them. P. Diddy, yeah. all of them. They, listen, P. Diddy is graduated from Howard. He has a college background, but music was his passion. You see where he took it? See where he took it, right? Jay-Z, he's from the streets too. No, he didn't have no college. He just had that street knowledge smartness and knew how to do it. And he took it to the next level. That's how you got to do it. Exactly. It's more than just music. That's right. That's right. I've learned that the hard way. That's yeah. right. Yeah. That's right. And it's nothing like knowing the business because, you know, you got people that's going to come in your life. They're going to have you sign this. And what if you're illiterate? You can't even read. There's been a lot of artists that didn't even, know, didn't even read the material because they was embarrassed to say they didn't know how to read. Mm -hmm. They just took the word of the person. And then they end up with having nothing. It's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. But this is the way of the world. Again, I tell you, and anything you do, I don't care what it is. It can be music, designers, anything in business. You got to know your stuff. You got to watch people. You got to read those contracts. If you have a problem with it, ask the question. Definitely. You got to ask. Don't just take their, their face value. Okay? And I, I appreciate that, Jewel, because uh -huh. I feel like it's going to help me out a lot in the future. Very important. Very yeah. important. Because you know what? There's some artists. I can't remember their names because there's so many artists that came out. And, like, one might have made a song. I'm like, I can't remember the name, but if I heard the song on the dance, I said, oh, yeah, what happened to that artist? He, I haven't heard him sing in a long time. He got fucked over. He died. <laughs> Probably. Died down. They made one hit, and they ain't did nothing else. You're living off that one hit, maybe it went platinum, and you're living off that for a couple of years, then you're all dried up. Nobody wants you because you can't do nothing else. They were like, you're really not that talented. You made, you didn't made one song, but you can't make nothing else. There's a reason behind that. Like Sin, I've been following her, and I know this girl has so many hats, and I'm like, wow, she's amazing. And for me to run into her, that was a gift. Because I was like, oh, my God. I act like a sick puppy. I was like, oh, my I God. I almost didn't make it. <laughs> I was like, oh, my God. This was the best night when she came in. I mean, the other performers, I ain't going to, you know, they were okay. But she stole the show. <laughs> it happens. I think that's Sin why they're, they're mad the at me. Sin stole the show. No doubt. 
<laughs> she, she got there late, but she stole the show, y'all. <laughs> they were hating hardcore. <laughs> they were hating hardcore, but they were I said, honey, I said, Sam, get over here. We're going to take some pictures together. I got to put this on my page. Say, I was so upset. Yeah, everybody had to interview me and yes. everything. Yeah. Yes. It was, it was a lit night. <laughs> but let me ask you something. Let me get to that part. In, the, in this industry, both of you, I've got this question for both of you. In this industry, in industry, do you find that the communication with people that you interact with, like you said, you had people hating on you, for example. How do you how do you handle, you know, you know, you always got competition, you know that. I don't think of it as competition really. Like, okay. I just am doing what I love to do. Okay. So I really don't care what anybody. Whether, else whether you don't whether you don't think it's competition. I'm being me. Listen, whether you don't think it's competition, but somebody else find that you're competition. How I put it like that. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's offensive. Like they're kind of like I, I run off energies. Like I feel like I know. I pay attention. I, I pay attention to body language. Yeah. And, and everything. Like I know even just from like seeing somebody, just meeting you. Like if you're automatically judging me or not like right. I'm not really one to judge people so I'm just right. neutral to the bullshit like right. you gotta rise above that's like my whole motto. my whole motto one yes. of my mottos yeah mm -hmm. what about you Jay what, you, what do you have to say about that uh, it's normal how do you find it's normal whenever you're standing up for something great there's always uh, adversity I've uh, realized that you know without no great purpose in your life you know mm -hmm. then you won't have like a resistance to it like if you have some enemies it's because you're standing up for something you know what i mean well you know my motto is that i like my enemies close to me you know even though i know they're my enemies i like to have them close because see i already know where they stand and i know how to work around them you know because i already know what they're about there's some people that are just toxic. Though. But some people, yeah, you're right. Some people yeah. that are just toxic, you just like, yeah. I'm glad you said that. Sin is yeah. I love her. Yeah. But some people yeah. are so toxic yeah. that you're like, oh, hell You need no. to stay the fuck <laughs> Oh, I got I'm go. sin. I know this. Like, I'm sin city. There's a lot of negativity that's been attracted to me in life. But for me to be like, you are evil, there's something wrong. Yeah. <laughs> there's definitely yeah. something wrong with you. But like, other than that, that let me ask you something, Jay. How many performances have you actually done you would say that you have done, basically? I've lost wow. count. I've been performing since I was like a teenager. Wow. Not really young, but I'm saying... Uh, Can I ask you how old you are? Uh, I am... Uh, I'm going to be you 30 years me? old in two years. You will? Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. Okay. I'm already getting to that age. You know, before yeah. I hit 30... I want to be established fully, mm -hmm. so I cut off. Um, That's your dream. Complete, That's mm -hmm. yeah, complete the purpose that I feel like is over my life. Like I believe, like Sin City has a calling too yes. over her life, and it's a God, God-given gift, you know. And we have right. to use it for the right reasons. And again, like there's gonna be, uh, you know, struggles along with that, or yes. there's gonna be battles. Yes. But uh, I believe that you know, if something is promised for you, then you'll just get through it, you know. Yes. No matter what. Well, that uh, that goes with spirituality with me when when I say you, you know when I say you want this you have to claim it. It's another way of saying it. You own it. I'm determined. Self preservation. All of that goes intertwined. You're motivated. You're not gonna let nothing get in the way of your motivation and your determination. You know, especially if you love what you do. Because then, then we talk about another subject in the music business. Some people just do it because the money. They really don't have a passion. They don't have that strong passion for that what they say they want. You get what I'm saying? That's, that's in anything. You know, oh, I'm just doing it because, you know, I'm getting paid or whatever. You know, I'm going to perform. But they truthfully don't like what they do. Yeah. And, and you have a lot of people in, in, in um, acting and all kinds of stuff. They like, they like part of what they do, but then something happens along the way that they got burnt out or something. Lindsay Lohan is a perfect example. She's an excellent actor, actress. She got sidetracked. You know, all the personal stuff, especially with a crazy family, on top of it. But the point is she was a child star at a young age. Stuff was put into a, a lot of child stars. A lot of them have died yeah. or OD'd. They were child stars. But if they, it's all they know was like cameras an and nannies and all that. And they got strung out on drugs or whatever and committed suicide or whatever. 
You know, they never had a normal life. That's just like the industry, anything in the industry yes. at any point. Like people are trying to be like, you know, what's on you know, TV or what because people are rapping you, about. Yeah, because you have people out there that solicit their children at a young age. I want my child to be the model. Put them in modeling, get them on these shows and all this stuff. On the little kitty shows that they have with Disney and all that. And quite a few of those kids came from that came from Disney, like Lindy, Lindsay. They all been on Disney before they really hit it big. But how many of those kids wanted to stop? Yeah, but a lot of I'm telling you, a lot of, of those child stars from like Family Ties. Uh, somebody died. Who else died? Um, there's quite a few of them. I don't remember all the names the, offhand, the but you know what I'm talking about. A lot of them died. Rubble <laughs> with dust, overdose, and all that. But they were child stars. They started out young as little little things. Even the Olsen twins had a lot of Yeah, um, Allison so. twins, yeah, them yeah. too. But you're you're exactly right. It's not natural for somebody to experience so much at such an early age. They need time to develop yeah. and to actually get uh, in tune with who they are. And sometimes yeah. dealing with all this exterior stuff, we don't have the opportunity to really find ourselves because we're right. trying to please everybody else. And it affects people. I believe that yes. like you said, the childhood in general, people's childhoods, even if they're not famous, affects them a lot, and I've seen that in a yes. lot of women, even in myself, and you know, I just hope people heal from that, you know? Yes. So, your message, and your, and your, you rap too, or do you sing? I rap and sing. Oh, you do both, and yeah, you play both. an instrument too, don't you, don't you? Yeah, I got like keyboards, I play trumpet, trombone, you know, I'm very acoustic, I like all types of wow. sounds, you know? I would love to see you perform. I'm like J. Cole in a way, like J. Cole. I've actually oh seen J. Cole in Manhattan two times. Don't tell me I that. I did, I've seen J. Cole two times. <laughs> really? I was talking to him. I'm like, yo, you got to work, you know, got to catch up. I told him that I feel like he's a prophet and God's using him in big ways, you know, to spread the message oh out goodness. here, you know, the, the message of life, you know. Yeah. Can you can you give me a little tune without your music, you think? What, give like a, a rap? Anything. Just be hear you. All right. Give me something. You're going to do the same thing, dear. PS57, I rock that auditorium. Man, it's like a blessing. I'm moving like a historian. Graduated fascia, call me Valley Victorian. Ooh. Spoke to the promoter, he told me his name was Dorian. Used to go to Harlem to visit them Ecuadorians. Growing up in Brooklyn was Delhi, I kept a warrior. Used to go to Flabbish to visit the Salvadorians. Walking up the block like it's hot, Cubic Saconians. Heard him trying to call me Samoan, I said Simonian. How could all technology oh work without titanium? How could all the rockets just blast without uranium? How come all your Secrets are staying inside your cranium. Acting all demonic, stop changing your name to Damien. Eating all this garlic, I'm feeling like an Iranian. I don't understand why the Russian be for Ukrainian. Looking like Romanian, Cephalo was by Albanians. Love you. Thank you. I love you. <laughs> Listen, I love him already. He might not have his music in the background, but guess what? That's real. I love him. Now, you know. Now, this young lady, too, hit it. Sin City. <laughs> Go ahead, Sid. I've been grinding, trying to find the one down the ride. No, I got my real day when people by my side. Sin City, bitch, you know I'm real ride or die. Type of shit, leave my niggas feeling all so high. Now we all the way up. Yeah, we super duper fly. Shit so fuego, cause this shit's on fire. Sin City, bitch, I made my own empire. Said you riding with me, thought I'd do it mine. Yeah, I love the singer, yeah, the whole entire. He a real man, so I call him Tiger. And I bounce to his balls like I'm his fire. He the only one that I do desire. Hating real shit, that I only bring a tighter. Every minute with you is like a sofa fire. This is real shit, so it never be inspired. I'm just hoping that you simple people get inspired. Mm. Listen, yes. this is real talent, y'all. You see that, right? That's what I call real talent. When a person can perform without their music and they still sound good. Because you know what? I can't sing. I always wanted to be a singer. You can dance, though. I can dance. <laughs> I can still dance. Oh, yeah, I can dance. You look oh, good doing it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I slowed down a little bit because I'm older. But I used to get down on the dance floor, honey. I won quite a few contests in my day. Hustling no, was my it. thing. Hustling was a thing back then, honey. Woo, baby. I'm telling you, in my high heel shoes, <laughs> and I was slim too, I got hustle my butt off. <laughs> mm -hmm. If I existed back then, like if I was your age back then, I would baby, probably holler at you. I'd probably baby, see you around. Like, I would be hollering at you. <laughs> like, come on out here, baby. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yes. That's what's up. 
I always like going to like events where like it's like you know mm-hmm. a certain like time frame. Like mm-hmm. I wish I could like go back in time and just you know what? experience. I, you know what? I always say that there's certain things you know that I said you know if I could get in a time capsule, capsule, you know what the era that I would want to get get back? What's that? My high school part? No, not my high school. I'm going to go with college. My college days was the ultimate. The 80s was the jam back then. I bet. Anybody can tell you. My era, that was the beginning. My parents had a lot of stories. People were (laughs) smooth, calm, collective. You didn't go to clubs with people going with guns and fighting. You know, whatever they went, tripping off the acid trip or whatever they chose. It wasn't it wasn't no violence. You talking about I used I was a club member. My famous club was the Garage. Paradise Garage. A lot of stars came out of there. Like Madonna. I knew Madonna. Jelly Bean. He was the baddest DJ in the whole USA. Now I'm jealous. Queen, <laughs> I'm telling you. Janet Jackson. They used to have roller skating in there. They had all kinds of floors. It was called the Paradise Garage. It was on King Street downtown. People who know about Paradise Garage, they know. The Loft, they know. What was it? Bonds International, which now they got Webster, is a remake of this club called Bonds International. Webster Club, they got three floors, right? With different types of music. You ever been there? Mm-hmm. Well, Bonds International, that's how that was. That was I'm <laughs> telling you, back then. Then they had this club called the Red Parrot in the Bronx. That was awesome too. Those were real clubs, I'm not kidding you. Now these clubs they got out here now, I ain't seeing it. I ain't really feeling yeah, it's it. I'm totally not feeling changed. it. Even, I ain't feeling it. Even the, yeah, even the vibes are changed. I'm stuff. not feeling it. For one thing, I don't know, I think that even, let me ask you something. Even in, like everything was done naturally. You know like when rap came out, you had real people in the background playing stuff. You had instruments. Now they're using everything as tech, tech, tech. And some of the rap people play, you can tell that they got, they're got on the internet. They got Electronic the music off rap. the internet because somebody else got the same beat, just different words. You ever notice that? It takes away from it. It's not the same. You know, yeah. if the lyrics are good, then people will ride over the fact that they heard that background music before. Definitely. But you know, but you can always tell if you're in, if you're really music inclined. Well, every everything they sing it sounds it sounds the same. That's why I kinda once once I'm finished like mixing and mastering my mixtapes, I'm done with like using any other person's beat but per- made for me because right. I feel like now, now that like it's, it's been a little while, like I've been trying to release my mixtapes for almost like two years, mm-hmm. and um, a couple of the beats that I leased are actually like famous now. <laughs> wow! So yeah, I was like, <sighs> so what do you <laughs> say? It's like what one do of those mumble rappers what too. What do you think about that, Jay? <laughs> about what? About the music, how it's changed. Where you know everything is tech. People are g- using their computer. You know, it's not natural where you got a real band playing, you got somebody real playing the piano, playing oh, instruments. You. Like back then you had more like live to live ciphers. If you wanted to get your music out there, you actually need to perform out there. And now you could be a studio artist, meaning you could just know how to make songs. But when it comes to doing it in front of people, you freeze up. And I've had that problem before. And wow. the way I overcame it was just being consistent on my craft, you know. And we all have gotten to that. I always you had know, a problem doing it in front of people. Yeah, it's not really wow. a fear. Everyone it's just be ciphering like, and, you know, yeah. jamming and, you know. Wow. <laughs> I'd be like, I got plenty of lines. I got bars for days. But in right. front of people, I was like, it took a lot of, like, working in entertainment mm-hmm. and doing shows and, right. like, to graduate to being able to stand on stage in front of people. And exactly. Like, wow. At that point, you Especially know, Especially freestyling. Right. Well, you know, I, you know, honestly, I like the freestyling. You know, I like to go to like I. That's remember, how I make music. But. I remember in back in the day, they used to have the Battle of the DJs, and that was from Queensbridge, the Bronx, Harlem, and Brooklyn, of course. Battle of the DJs. Let me tell you, these events, it was the Battle of DJs. I'm not kidding you. 
Yeah, it was rowdy, but it was everything. It was everything. You know, and like, you know, I know they have slang for battles and rap and stuff like that. You know, like, I, you said you don't watch TV, but you know Nick Cannon, right? Yeah. Well, you know, he has a thing called Wild and Out. Wild and Out is a similarity of, to something in back in the day where they battle. But you know, his, it's all live performance on TV, you know, That's you got so a program. Funny. You know, so you can tell it's not natural, like, you know, they just, they, 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 they rehearse their lines. You can tell. I can tell. In some type of way, yeah. You can tell, most, you know what I'm most saying? Most entertainment is rehearsed. But I, I do know so how to freestyle. To a point where at least huh? I, I do know how to freestyle. Yeah. I have like this Bluetooth microphone. If you want, um, you could buy one too on Amazon. And I, <laughs> I take it everywhere with me. And you could just put on a beat and just start freestyling. Yeah, so I've done yeah, that a lot. but I love freestyle. I just find it amazing because it's in its natural element. Because they, they, you know they just come and they're like, "Yo, okay, all right, I'm rapping on you now. I'm ragging on you now. Okay, then he come back. Oh my God, I love it. I just love it because it's so natural. You they know, train it's so your mind. It trains your mind to find words faster, react right. to situations in a way that a normal person wouldn't. Because you're thinking on a level that's higher like at that moment you just got to hit every note you know so right. I think it makes you mentally strong like Jay-Z got to the point where he could freestyle mm -hmm. because he's tuned that side of his brain so much you know yeah. that to the point where it's like second nature already yeah yeah that's what I find amazing because it's so unique and it's and it's real you know you can tell the person didn't rehearse it and they sound so damn good right but like I it's said, it's a talent. Certain it's, people can do it. <laughs> right. Okay. So we're going to talk about a little video real quick. Have you been in videos yet? Yeah, I have. Uh, have you done videos? Of course. I have almost 40 music videos on YouTube. I'm aiming for 100 by the end of the year. And I've well, done it independently for the most part. Well, listen. That's, can you on. tell the cameras where they can find you on YouTube? Look in that camera. Oh, of course, of course. You. This is Jay Cuts. Jay Cuts, yeah. Tell them, tell them Jay Cuts. You can find me on Google, YouTube, Amazon, Spotify, mm -hmm. uh, Pandora, Apple Music at J A Y space C U T T Z. That's J A Y space C U T T Z. J Cuts and Salvaequa is also um, the Spanish version of me. So J Cuts is the okay. English one, okay. and uh, Salvaequa is this because I'm half Salvadorian, half Ecuadorian, yes. mm -hmm. and I want to do it big, you know, for these countries that I feel like need a positive influence in order yeah. uh, for them to actually um, move forward, you know, and not be stuck in sort of the third world problems that a lot of people around the world face. Yes. You know? It's bigger than me, it's bigger than music. I really care about what I'm doing and I wanna make a difference and leave a legacy, you know. It's not about the money, it's about just, you know. Getting it out there. Doing what you were born to do. Just do what you were born to do, that's it. Thank you, Jay Cuts. Thank you so much. All right, thank you. And you, Miss um, Sin City, what was the question? <laughs> <laughs> I got lost in his answer. Oh, God. Yeah, it's, he's amazing. I'm just like, wow. Oh, my goodness. You got to come back. Yeah, you oh, back yeah, here. Back. Sure. You. Yeah. Right? Um, what was the question again? <laughs> See? What's happening? This is you, me. Shay, what was the uh, question? Listen, you got to keep in mind, people. Butterscotch, this is our first day back, so I'm a little nervous. I'm getting a little tongue tied. But guess what? Just bear with us, please. Just play along with us, okay? You know, video. seriously. Oh, videos. Videos. Like videos. Okay. You know I've been in all types all right. of videos. There you go. So let's talk about your videos. Let's talk about some of your videos and stuff. Um, <laughs> you know, um, you also, you know, I, you know, I'm, I'm a person who watches them. Um, you know, I like tattoos. I'm, a, I'm, a, I love art. Mm -hmm. Tattoos is part of it. And if I can get my whole body done like yours, baby, they will be done. I, know, I, love your house. I need all of this done. I need this done. I need this done. I need this sleeve done. I need everything done because I love art. I think it's so beautiful. Very beautiful. And to get to where I'm going to go, this young lady has also been on Black Ink. Yeah, I, I work on... Um, Black Crew Ink. I work for the street team. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I do flyers, promotion, you know. Mm -hmm. You mentioned Sin City, you get a 33% discount. Wow. Um, they actually did my chess piece. It's actually not done. It's my oh. owl. Mm. It's kind of remind me of yours, <laughs> which I love. Wow. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, yeah, we did a couple commercials and stuff mm -hmm. that I was in the intros and, mm -hmm. you know. 
So I have I've always I've always been around, you know, tattoos and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> but I have to admit, I have to ask Sorry. you this. I mean, I don't mean to change the subject because, you know, I watch Black Crew Inc., right? But I like Chicago one better. I like their their setup better. I don't know what's going on with Crew. What's what's his name? Caesar. Caesar, yeah. <laughs> Well, Caesar, Caesar is, you know, Caesar, <laughs> but he's opening a lot more shops and yeah, stuff, no. you know, so he's been really busy, and mm -hmm. um, there's been a lot of events and stuff going on. Summertime is coming. Um, yeah. Also, the, the Nipsey, the new Nipsey um, mm -hmm. promotion uh, to okay. keep the marathon continues. Yes. Uh, any any Nipsey-related tattoos are actually free forever. What? So, yeah, he's opening these stores on top of, you so know, getting I can, flooded. I can go to his store <laughs> now and get yeah. me its Nipsey tattoo. Absolutely. For free. Uh, yeah, forever. And he, he has it forever. Well, I think I'm going to go check him out because <laughs> I want one. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. Maybe, Thanks maybe for telling me the information. TV. <laughs> we'll have to talk about that one because I want my free tattoo. Yes, I do. I don't know where I'm going to put Nipsey, but I'm going to find somewhere to put them. <laughs> i got to put them next to an owl or something. Yeah, I definitely want, like, a you know? saying or something. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so let me ask you a question. I mean, I know I'm talking about different things, but it's all pertaining to entertainment, y'all. And I want to ask them Art. that. I want to <laughs> ask you, how, how did it, I mean, this is a hard subject for me because that rapper, I loved him. He was a beautiful man. And um, he was, his life was taken. Another good person, soul. I mean, he was, listen, he grew up in the gang era. He know about the gang, but he was doing a lot in the community, positive things, and now all of a sudden his life was taken from him. How did that make you feel just to see another one gone, as we would say? The way I felt personally, I'm going to tell you the truth, Talk before Nipsey passed away, mm -hmm. I saw him on Facebook, they were sharing his video about how he was doing so much for the yes, community, yes. and I commented on somebody's post, and I was like, I want to be just like that guy, tell because me. that's the same vision that I had, you know, I came from a similar background as him, mm -hmm. so I can tell you that the change is there, it's like, just because you come from negativity doesn't mean you're going to stay there, there's a exactly. bunch of examples, some of the best people actually came from the worst backgrounds. Of course, so, I you know. know. I pay my respects uh, to Nipsey Hussle, you know, yeah. that he rests in peace, and I know God has him in his glory. But again, like I'm saying, you know, this is stuff that happens when you want to stand up for something great, and sometimes uh, you got to be crucified for it, you know, it just is what it is. If it has to happen, then, you know, nobody can really stop it, right, because that's out of our control. Like, I'm made out of the same material as everybody else, so yes. it's not like I could just stop a bomb from Blow me, Blow up, me you know? up. You're yeah. right. You're absolutely right. But I got faith that's that. That's a good um, way to say it. That's a good way to put it. Yeah. It's sad. It's just so sad. But my thing is, I get emotionally crazy about it because every time I turn around, somebody that has is doing so much, all of a sudden now, they're not here because at the life of somebody's expense, they're gone. You know, I, you know I've always been a, a deep fan of Tupac. The guy was so free. He might have been an idiot sometimes, but guess what? He was talent. He was raw talent. Nobody could ever rap like Tupac. I don't care how much style you have. He has it. It's just, I don't care. I have not heard nobody do his style. I actually just read the Tupac song. Everyone used to call me Sin Bac in school. But I'm just, I'm just saying. I mean, really I do his flavor the way he does it. You can copy it, but you still won't sound like Tupac to me, because I would know the difference. His substance was very powerful. Extremely. Very powerful. This guy had to be chosen for that. Had to oh, oh my! Oh my God! I never forget when he wrote when he did that song about Brenda. Was it about Brenda? Brenda got a baby. Brenda got a baby. Oh my God! That I mean, that song was right on point. <clears throat> You I know, feel like I feel like um, you know, my boy Junior Lucas from Massachusetts. He, uh, he mm -hmm. just like Tupac, mm -hmm. in ways like nothing similar to like the sound. Yes. But like as far as like um, rapping about things that actually hit yeah. people and relate to people. Yes. If you watch all his videos, every single one of them, like I, every single one of them I know, has made me cry right. or, or like feel some type of way. Like mm -hmm. even like with my music, like you have to. The whole thing is to tell a story like that people can relate to, mm -hmm. and like. That's right. It's definitely, you know, I, I hope that more people <laughs> well, follow that. Well, you know, to right that, now there's so not. many errors to this entertainment. That's right. You know, 
the story, when you write a song, you know, you fall in love with it. Like, people write R&B songs. There's some songs that you might play over again because it's, it's a love song that just touches your heart. It can touch your heart romantically, you know. Yeah. You might want to turn it on when your girlfriend or your boyfriend come in the house and let's get busy. You know what I mean? Those, you got songs like that. Then you got songs like, that are so meaningful and powerful, even down to spiritual gospel songs. There's some gospel songs that I listen to that they, they help meditate me. They, they, they soften me up and they, it's like, oh, I can relate to that. I need you to hear that person sing that song to me today. You know what I mean? And it's the same thing in, in rap music. Certain rap music I love because the message behind what they're saying. The rap that I can't understand what the person is saying, I'm like, what the hell are they talking about? Right. And then when you break it down, you know, because the young kids like that kind of music. And I, I, don't, I have a 16-year-old. So when I sit, I'm like, one day, I, I forgot the rapper's name. I said, Lord have mercy. You're bopping to that? Do you hear what they said about you women? Right, exactly. <laughs> but I, it, it was I tell my daughter, like, but, don't even. But wait a minute. <laughs> they said it so fast. I can't. You can't even understand. You got to keep playing it back to really understand what the brother is saying. Because some rappers from the South, whatever that call that new rap they got, you can't even understand what they say. That was strong accent, yeah. <laughs> no, strong accent, but they, you can't understand. I'm like, but what it is, people like the popping of the music. So they're not really listening right. to what it's the rapper Right, it's not really the saying. words. It's the music. It's just like like any one of us could, you know, do a better job of I mean, any the, of those The beats. trap era is kind of like that, you know. <laughs> 90s hip hop was more like lyrical. The right. The era, Jay-Z era, you know. Yeah. Right now we're living in a different time. But the way Definitely. I see it, like artists is like me and Sin City, even though we're keeping it new school, we still mm -hmm. got that old school vibe when it comes to bars, you know. Right. And there's still meaning in it. It's not like I'm just saying it because I want to make some commercial hit. I really want to touch lives, you know. And she Right. Yeah. Wow. I try, so, put, I try to put as much meaning as I can yeah. to try to improve, not right. <laughs> degrade the human so, race <laughs> more. So, Sid, I'm going to ask you. I know you got a lot of things coming up. You always do. Is there anything that you want to share with, the, uh, with our social about what's coming up next, what's coming up now, that if they want to get down and check you out. Definitely. You can, you can tell them the address of and, and where you at. <laughs> Look into that camera. I want Sin to tell y'all what's coming up. Did she talk? Go ahead. I'm going to let you talk, Sin. Go ahead. Um, every Monday at the Delancey, uh, 7 p.m., we have the Put Me On Showcase mm -hmm. uh, for artists. There actually is a membership. If you guys go to floempirenetwork.com, mm -hmm. you can sign up. And mm -hmm. um, it is free, and you know there's a lot of cool perks, so right. make sure you go check that out. Um, my Sin City show will be continuing season two next month, okay. the, uh, July 1st, actually. Okay. Um, not July 1st, maybe the third. I think okay. it, the first Wednesday um, okay. it will be back for season two. So mm -hmm. any artists, uh, entertainers, promoters, entrepreneurs, you know, want to come on my TV show and radio show, Please hit me up at the Sin City Show at gmail.com. Mm -hmm. um, make sure you guys follow me um, for I have mm -hmm. shows. Uh, I know I have a show in Queens mm -hmm. next month. Uh, oh, okay. Papoose actually is hosting. I'm super excited. Papoose? I'm oh, super wow. excited about that. Yeah, I know when you, you were talking are. about you met Remy, OG, right? You know, uh, rappers. Did you meet Remy? And, and yes, yeah. Oh my God! I worked you know, with, with a lot of. For a long time. I worked with a lot of people. You know, I've worked with a lot oh, of people wow. in my time. Definitely. That um, is wonderful. What day is that? I might try to make um, that one. I believe, I always mess it up. I want to see like August 30th or July 30th. Okay. I know I have shows on both of those days. Okay. Um, you know, I also have a brunch. And uh, like I said, follow my Instagram or my yes. Facebook. You guys can find all but, my events. But you know, Sid, I'm a very busy woman. You got to you gotta text yeah, no, hit me up. If you, guys, you, know, if you want to, you know, know information, you just feel free to hit me up. up privately and and send it to me. So I have it because that's what most artists do for me. Because they know Butterscotch yeah. is very busy and I don't always. Me too. I do, all book, I do all, most bookings. Send it to me privately. Any don't bookings worry. for studios, you know, photography, yes. videos. Um, you know, even if you want to collab with me, whatever. Mm -hmm. Like right. anything you need entertainment, I can pretty much hook, hook, you hook, hook it up. up. So definitely hit me up. So what about you, Jay? Talk to me. What, do you What's have up, anything up? coming up that you want to share with, with everybody? Um, uh, yeah. Um, are you doing anything in Staten Island that's coming up for well, yourself? Like as far as shows? Yeah, anything you um, have coming up? On uh, July mm -hmm. 12th, I should be out in Miami 
We're doing a couple oh. of showcases out there. Oh, um, Miami, I'm man. Also, yeah. You're going to see sure. all those. Shows that, you're going to see awesome. all those naked bodies. The women out there with the fake boobs and fake boo boos. I yeah. hope they don't drip out when they go in the water. I, mean, I can tell. I, I can tell. So, you know, I'm not trying to, you know. But I'm, I'm going there, like, mostly for business purposes, you know. Because, like, that. Yeah, that but Yankee that's part of the business, too. Don't you know there. that? Don't it you is. know that you by now? Oh, uh, of course it is. But it's I'm part of the mind. business and the entertainment, honey. All of that course. goes together. It Keep is, that it in is. mind. No, of course, but I'm saying like right. the first permission <laughs> is the music, you know. Yeah, and I got that you. Comes I got you. Know? I'm just pulling your leg, but I'm. Uh, but it's cool. the truth, though. Yeah. I, I just keep it real. Right. <laughs> Here come the strippers. <laughs> I'm not used to it yet, so it's going to take a while to get a little comfortable. Too. Oh, but you don't really get too comfortable. Yeah. You really don't. You don't because you can get you can get bit. It's by very the, uncomfortable. You, you, no, no, you can get you can get bit by the shark. Yeah, yeah. You know, and yeah. then that can mess up your whole career. Of course, yeah. Yeah, that's I, another thing. I, that's that's I, like I, I don't like. I got to get comfortable with yeah. the idea of dealing with this because I know that it's not like always the best thing to deal with. You know, right. sometimes you could. I mean, for me, I think like the way the type of artist I'm gonna be is uh, I just want to be more reserved. Like I yeah. like to find like one woman or something. Yeah, out there, you know? I hear you. Not, I respect there's, that. There's too totally. much stuff going on. Out too here much, honey. For me too to be much. involved, you know, uh, some women out there might want clout. Mm. They might be interested in you know a secret agenda. Mm -hmm. And I realize that like sometimes you get your blessing. But you don't realize that sometimes that doesn't come with what you wanted it to come with. Exactly. Like, there's artists that are famous, have money, but they can't find real love. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but that's, you know, I'm using a good example. I love Chris Brown. That young boy, he's town care. How wild he is. I love everything he sings. Everything Chris Brown sings, I love it. <laughs> I just love to watch him perform. That's entertainment he's for He's very you. entertaining. <laughs> and let me tell you something else. Just like he went met a groupie. Oh, yeah, she gets pregnant. Okay. He loved his daughter, but he don't love her. There was no love in the first place. It was a, like a one-night stand. A groupie want to hook up with Chris Brown, and guess what? You didn't use no protection. What's, you know, of course. And she got pregnant. People even be, like, sneaky. And, some, and some, of them, some of them do it on purpose. Exactly. Just to get money. See? Yeah, yeah, because the kid is expensive. Yes, kid is expensive. The more money you have, the more money it'll take from you. Exactly. But it's not about the kid. It's about the person getting money in their pocket. You know, and I think he has his, his daughter. She's not even, you know, fit to be a mother. He has his daughter. I think. I think that's what I heard. Okay. I know so, her pictures, but... and she's a beautiful thing. She's gorgeous. Funny coincidence, my kid's father's name is Chris Brown. <laughs> oh, my. What? Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Dog, but don't name is Brown. Oh, my God, I was going to answer. Yeah. Is that, is, that, is that your daughter? Yeah. <laughs> I got to pass the joke. What am I going to say? I had to take advantage of this one. I had to tell you one. since you were like so. <laughs> Chris Brown is the I'm just so favorite. glad to see I you. I do like his music. Today. I really am. You guys just don't know how much it means to me that I feel good to be back in the studio, like I said. And you guys are my first interviewers since I'm coming back. So that's an honor for me. Yes, You know, thank you. and everything. You know, seriously. And um, what else I want to talk to you about? Anything you want to talk to me about? We still got a few minutes. I'm trying to kill the time while we can talk. I know there's so many things going on. Um, Sid, um, what else do you want to talk about? <laughs> what do you you got so much about? talent. You want to tell, tell more detail about some of your talent you got going on? Um, sure. All right, um, go ahead. I actually just got featured in my first print magazine. Let's talk about that magazine. Now, you just bring this up <laughs> to me now. See, Sid, I know. That was, that was last month. Um, What's the name of the magazine? Uh, Nuts Magazine. And U T T Z. Nuts? Yeah, Nuts. Nuts actually, like nuts? Yeah, like nuts. Like real nuts? That you eat, yeah. That you eat? The nuts that you eat or the ones they lick? Ah! Whatever, you know, probably the ones they lick. Okay? <laughs> but no, there's, there's, different, there's different, there's different, um, uh, shout out Brian Gardner. He actually, um, you know, he does different, uh, uh, magazines and, mm -hmm. and write-ups and interviews and mm -hmm. he has his own network of, um, okay. for BBWs. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, so, you know, he, he does, uh, um, one for ladies, Mike. 
which okay. is all ladies artists, mm-hmm. and then there's one for models, and then there's one for entrepreneurs. Okay. And there's one for adult model. Wow. <laughs> and that was, you know, my first one. So what did you do? <laughs> did you they did a photo shoot on you? I, or um, well, I used to um, like work with Suicide Girls. So I did it before, but I never actually got to get anything published because okay. um, I went for a little trip. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, and <laughs> so, <laughs> so I, <laughs> when I came back out to New York, I actually shot with um, a friend that I, I won a, a photo shoot with, mm-hmm. a friend of a friend. Mm-hmm. Um, his name is Israel Colon. He's actually worldwide pronounced photographer, like okay. super dope pictures, like Wow. Like I highly recommend him to any model that I like wants. Like okay. he's like you know Vogue, etc. Okay. He's been you know worldwide dopeness. My okay. pictures came out amazing. Um, wow! So I've been like holding on to them for like different I wish submitting. You, I like wish I keep missing w- dates and stuff. See this? I wish you would have brought some segments in because we could have saw some some of your photos and you could have. I mean, I have them. I have them. I but, know. You know we, got, we don't have. There time, wasn't time. Yeah. <laughs> if you know, next time when I have send back. And Mr. J. You guys can always they purchase already, the magazine or you yeah. know, follow my Instagram. So you can follow them, you know, and everything. How about you? You've done photo shoots too? Oh, yeah. Uh, I remember I got a free photo shoot off of Cypher here with uh, some people on Staten Island. I think it was hosted by, um, uh, let me see, this guy from the UMCs. He, he goes by the name of, of Cool Kim. He was big back in the 80s and stuff. This guy was like one of those first hip hop groups, like, you know, with the. Afro hair. Oh, not Cool Mo D. Nah, nah, nah. But the the UMC was to a school big group. Cool oh, all right, yeah. I mean, I've I've been I've around like you know, I've seen going them. On yeah. Grandmaster Fast, Dougie Fresh. You know, yeah, we all yeah, hi y'all. You yeah, know, like, we all the same age. Band. You know, we all in the same circles. Right. So, so he Peppa. got me a free photo shoot. Mm. Practically, so I LL. Went to I, got that done. I can name them. I've been around a lot of entertainers back then, myself. You know, but. I was a party girl, what can I tell you? I just loved it. <laughs> I loved it. It's you know, fun. I, I, I meet a lot of people like you that tell me like that they've been around like all these famous yeah. stars, like people that have lived with Mark Anthony, mm-hmm. that knew him before he popped, and yeah. it's just like for me, it's an honor to see like that yeah. I'm so close to that piece of history that you know would not come, would not happen if if this wasn't just you know right. part of the process. You know what I mean? But one thing I can say. The, some of the ones that really became famous back in my era, we all the same age. Cool Modi, all of us the same age. We all the same age, fifty something years old, and they're still they're still around. So to show you the difference, that these are people we all from the same era, and they still going strong. They still going strong. Salt and Pepper still going strong. Those are my friends. LL friends. is still going strong. Juggy Fresh is still going strong. He performs every summer. You know, I even got to see Slick Rick two years ago. But you know what killed me? Because Slick Rick was the one with the eye, patch on his eye. There's two mm-hmm. Slick Ricks, by the way. There's an, the, uh, the original Slick Rick, which I didn't know at the time because I met the gentleman who's been on the stage too here. They call him Prince. Mm-hmm. He's a rapper. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you know Prince, time. right? Yeah. Yeah, well, I got to get him on the show, too. I'm trying to get him here. Prince Charlie. Yes. Well, when I saw Slick Rick perform, I was disappointed. Because when he came out, they said Slick Rick, he came out with a, a glass eye because he didn't have the patch on. So then he put the <laughs> patch on, and everybody's like, oh, yeah, that's Slick Rick. <laughs> but when he came out, he didn't have the thing on. So people were like, who is that? That ain't Slick Rick. I'm telling you. But he, he did a hard, it was his performance was hard, but I ain't gonna lie. He just came with Dougie, his performance was very hard. It was, it was, cause he's been off the map for a long time. Mm. Damn. <laughs> you know, so when he came out to try to do his old shit, it wasn't good yet. It happens. It happens, you know. <laughs> but it was nice to see him, but he should have came out there with the patch on. Cause that's all, that's how everybody know him as. He always had the patch, cause his eye was taken from him. Oh yeah. Yeah, so he has a glass eye, so he was he didn't come out with the patch on. And then he puts it on. He said, "Yeah, he y'all want to see he turned around," and then he put the patch on. And that's when the, the crowd started hurraying him because when he came, I was like, "What? Who was that?" And he, that's like you and my 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 dress is like, "You're not wearing a dress today." Yeah. Like you're not. Where's your? <laughs> I was like. <laughs> 
Where's the hair and the nails? And the... I was like, I'm here for an award. Yeah. We did. <laughs> I wanted me. I did want you. I wanted you. I still had her. Okay. I love this girl. I love her so much. And then she bought her beautiful car. And they were born together. I said, well, that took over her wearing her, her, her Sin City look. That took it over because they got down on the stage, her and her daughter. I was like, oh, my God. Right, it wouldn't have they, they saved the day. <laughs> <laughs> I love this girl. I love her so much. <laughs> well, listen, we're going to be closing in like four minutes. So I want you to go ahead and speed up with us. And let's talk about close out. I want you to, to talk to the cameras and say what you want to say in terms of whoever you want to give a shout out to. And what you want to talk about is coming up. Put it out there. Tell them the page they can find you on. I want you to start right now. Who want to start? J. Cool. J. Right. Cuts. J. Cuts, yeah. Yeah. Yo, yo, J. Cuts. Go ahead. J. Cuts, the solid white quality of future rap, hip hop, and reggaeton. We out here doing it big for the culture. You can find me on Instagram at J A Y underscore C U T T Z. Uh, I want to give a shout out to Sin City uh, for having me out here. Yes. So this young lady right here, which is very what beautiful, Scott? intelligent, you know I mean? <laughs> and just know that I'll, I'll definitely be back. Um, shouts to J Cole. I hope you see this on TV. Oh my God! You know I love J Cole. Yeah. Oh my, my God! Right there. That's, I that's can't the big bro. wait to hear you. My before. sister was born on his away. birthday, so I feel like I, I told him, I'm like, yo, bro, I feel like it's meant to be. I do though. I, I really do. Yeah. I can't wait to hear this gentleman perform. And believe me, Sin, Sin City is going to be so surprised. I won't be able to make it this Monday, but I am going to come. You know I'm coming. I hope on the 24th, because that's my segment. What day? What day? The 24th. It's two Mondays from now. 24th? Yeah, every fourth Monday at the Dillian is actually my own segment of the Put Me On Show. Hold, hold me. Hold me to it, everybody. Usually Butter, listen, hold me to it. Butterscotch Angie Live. Will be on at the place called Delancey. The Delancey on the one sixty eight Delancey Street in Manhattan. Okay, you heard what she said. That Monday, June twenty fourth, Butterscotch is gonna be in the house. I'm not gonna yes. miss it. I feel a lot better, and I can get out and start going to these events. I've been invited to a lot of events, and you know, I'm only one person. I said, you know what? Butterscotch needs her own private jet. Who's going to pay for it? Because I could go to every event that I'm invited to, because I'm always invited to people inviting me to different events, showcases and everything. You know, because they heard about Butterscotch. She puts the performance on the show. They give them a chance to shine a little bit. Give them a tape, give them a show, so they can take it wherever and keep it moving. You know, and that's what I do, you know, because I believe in you artists. And if you got the talent, you need a platform. Exactly. We all need a platform. But we need, we're getting ready to close out right now. There you go. Thank you. Sam, take us out. We're over to you, Marie. Let's go. You want me to sing? Whatever you got to do, better hurry up. Come on. You and Jay. Put it in.